Hi hey, YouTube. Okay, today, uh, here's today's project. I just purchased a international model 70 three bottom plow from my uh, 450 farm all. And what I'm doing today is Saturday. We're gonna hook up this uh, my trailer to the uh, truck and we're gonna take a little trip down to uh, Riverhead, Long Island. Uh, going by Google Maps, it's about 143 miles. I don't see any problems. But I'm going to just uh, hook up the trailer, put some spare tires on just in case we need it. And um, I'll give you, some, give you some updates on our way down. Alright, here we go. 84 heading west. Alright, here's a good sign. Welcome to New York. There you go. Project Bridge. Here we are at the tolls right now. I'm guessing 12. Truck with the trailer. Been a few years. Oh, 27? Wow, huh? Thank you. Holy crap. Remember, I, I figured $12 to get over the bridge with a trailer. $27. Jeez. They must be raking in the money. Anyways, that part is done. I guess I got to pay $27 going back. So just give you a quick shot of uh, where I'm going. That bridge right there. Long Island Sound would be out to the left. And um, you look real good. New York is way over there, New York City. to the end of 495 exit 73 I'm on a couple of back roads I'm getting pretty close right now um, and, uh, what I'll do let me get loaded up and uh, I'll pull over on the road just to get a couple pictures of it or actually a video so let's see what happens all right YouTube I just loaded up um, on the back of my trailer right now I'm not sure if you can see it there um, I'll tell you beautiful part of Long Island parts that you never thought even existed um, get used to the city part or the you know populated part you think that's what it's all about this is a real nice area yeah, i'm gonna have to pull over here at this rest stop here um say my straps are getting pretty loose so something came loose so before this this small problem is a big problem i'm gonna pull over up here and we're gonna tighten them up 260 miles later we're back in connecticut I tell you, it sure, it sure is good to see that sign. So about another 20 more miles and uh, I'll be back home. Okay, well, we made it home safe. The only, the only issue was uh, the box came loose. Not a big deal, you know, and the straps started coming a little bit loose. But um, re tightened them down and um, here we are. Just a quick walk around. Now, number one, that box up on top there, someone added, I guess, for uh, rocks for weight. That's going to come off. I want to keep it as original as I can. Right now, it's just all rust, but I can see this thing all sandblasted and repainted. It's going to look real good. A couple pieces I'm missing. The coulters are missing, but I found a supplier for those. Uh, one of the uh, support bars 
and the hitch is not there which is not a big deal and that cylinder is not the original one um the broken piece up here but that's all right because uh the guy gave me an original cylinder a hydraulic cylinder for it so i'm actually in pretty good shape here this is going to come out real nice all right well that's my uh video for today um i'll do some more updates on the restoration of this like you say, it's a free bottom international number 70 plow. Actually, I'm looking right now. That uh, tire and rim are not original. I'll have to see if I can locate one. Um, thank you for watching.